lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings the monthly uh middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for taurus sun moon rising and venus before we get into your cards taurus we're going to look a little bit deeper into the relationship and partnerships let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of december 2019 taurus sun moon rising and venus Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay, Taurus, um, in your past and passing, we do have here what they're speaking directly to me um, in reference to your past. For some of you guys, there was a conclusion or some type of ending, some type of some type of connection now this could have been partnerships but this could also be a representation of you know friendships uh family members um there was some type of falling out for some of you guys it's almost as if you're being pulled towards a completely different path than where you're at right now or where you've been in the past couple of months um and what they're telling me here is that for some of you guys, um, I want to say the end of December going into the beginning of January, there's going to be an opportunity to talk about um, to talk about an ending or to, to revisit, I should say, to revisit a situation um, that perhaps you've experienced in the past. For some of you guys, this could be... Um, a, rela a failed relationship that perhaps there was no ending, there was no nothing. It just kind of, uh, you both went your own separate ways. Um, if you are currently experiencing, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, if you're experiencing like uh, there's no longer a connection there between you two or things that are being left unsaid, um, I think you will be experiencing at the end of December going into the first week of January, uh, some emotions that start to come to surface. And it's almost a way to direct or directly have a conversation about that. Um, so what they're telling me is for some of you guys, those of you guys that are married or have been living with each other for quite a while, it's almost like the flame or the passion has kind of weathered. Um, and there's going to be a conversation or some type of revisiting of that situation um, to address it, to see how we go on or how we move on from here. Now, this could be for those of you guys that have been, like I said, in a long-term relationship, and perhaps some of you guys, the marriage itself is not working. Um, now, there could be ties to children. Uh, there could be reasoning behind why you're still putting effort in the relationship. For some of you guys, it could be because you solely depend on the partner um, financially. For others of you, it could represent that there is a bond or a binding um, of some sort. Uh, children could be involved, like I said. But this is going to give you guys an opportunity to pretty much let or speak up on things that both of you guys have been suppressing. Um, now, for those of you guys that are single um, or have been single for a while, there's going to be an opportunity, and I say opportunity because I, they are telling me that this is crossing towards the very near future. Um, so some of you guys may already be dealing with the person from the past. Perhaps there is a break. There was some type of separation. Um, and there's going to be another opportunity coming where you guys are going to be pushed towards revisiting that connection only to be able to see um, if there was misfiring of communication, meaning was it, did this relationship come to an ending because there was no love or because there was no genuine connection or was it misinformation, people coming to you, giving you advice, perhaps that wasn't to the best of your interest. Or it could have been the person that you were dating at the time that perhaps was um, hearing or getting information about you that perhaps wasn't necessarily true and them going off of that. 
So, because the reason why I say that is I do feel that there was some type of blockage, some type of wall that came up. And it had nothing to do with what you were doing, Taurus. It had more to do with the people around them. Um, so I do see it's almost like for some of you guys, it could be given the opportunity um, to start over. For others of you, it could just be the opportunity to actually clear the air, um, to mend fences and be able to move on from there. But there is definitely a lot of conversations or a lot of communication happening uh, with you, Taurus, for the month of December. Now, I do also want to mention for some of you, um, for some of you Taurus, those of you guys that have recently been or recently got engaged or married, if you're not trying to have children, be very careful as I do see you guys being very fertile and it is speaking to me directly about accidental pregnancies. So you guys be careful, like I said, if you're not trying to get pregnant. Um, even those single Taurus out there that are into temporary relationships, be careful, make sure to be safe, practice safe sex. As I do see, um, I do see accidental pregnancies coming coming up uh, for, the, for the remaining of the month going into the first month of January. So do be careful with that. Now, I also do want to mention in the very near future position, I am getting two different energies and I feel that this has... Um, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with the person from your past, while for others of you, it could be dealing or getting back into a relationship with the person from the past. All the while, I do see a new energy coming towards you. And this is a new energy, meaning you don't know this person or you're not currently dealing with this person. And it's almost like you guys meet, um, you guys come together, you guys meet each other through accident. Um, so it could be like for some of you guys, it could be that you get a flat tire. Uh, for others of you, it could be like that you're speeding and you accidentally um, kind of pass by a cop or something like that and they stop you and there's some type of connection there um, because what they're telling me is that there is a new person coming towards you uh, that will have a major impact in your life, but it comes through accident. So it's something that is very unexpected to you, okay? All right. Let's get into your readings. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. All right, so we've already shuffled the deck for time purposes. So we're we're going to get right into your reading, Taurus. Now, your first card here is the Hermit card. And this is the card that is representing here and now, the present. Um, your current situation. So for a lot of you, Taurus, uh, perhaps you're taking inventory of this year. You're taking inventory of the people that have came and have gone uh, from your life in the recent weeks, recent months. Um, the Hermit also speaks about going within. So I do see a lot of you, Taurus, out there being a little bit more antisocial, perhaps, uh, not really wanting to surround yourself with a lot of people or not being very outgoing and very social. It could be for spiritual needs, meaning for some of you guys, it could be to the need to recharge, the need to come back, um, to be more grounded more than anything. Now, the challenge here is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is symbolizing to me, uh, for some of you guys, it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others of you, it could just represent the energy of being Again, like I said, taking some time or taking some inventory of experiences that have gone out throughout the year and getting to the point now where you're not really hesitating to speak your mind. You're not really hesitating or holding your tongue. You're being extremely blunt or extremely honest. And I think that this is definitely a good energy, especially going into the new year, because it's almost a feeling of either you're rocking with me or you're not. And if you're not, then there's the door type of energy. And I think that this is very, very refreshing energy because I know Taurus have a tendency of giving people more than one opportunity. Now in the past and passing, you do have here the 10 of pentacles. So in regards to your finances or in regards to the ties, the family ties, I think that it's going to be very important for you guys. For some of you guys, it could be that you're clearing out energy uh, from experiences uh, within the family dynamic, like I said, uh, coming to terms, perhaps certain people or certain people in our lives that are just not going to change. 
and you're okay with that at this point, but you have no problem uh, removing people or pushing people away that are extremely toxic to you, Taurus, uh, or even energies that make you feel like you're not grounded enough and not hesitating about creating some type of distance. Now, we do have here the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles could represent, um, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with another Earth sign, which would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but I do see you guys going towards a long journey. For some of you guys, it could be travel. Uh, for others of you, it could just represent, like, it's been a long journey for those of you guys that have been single for a while. It's almost like you guys are extremely guarded, but at this point in time, I think you guys are very excited or open uh, towards new possibilities, new opportunities, because if you look at this night, um, it's in its armor, but at the same time, it is very focused and looking towards the future, looking towards the horizon, and they're carrying something. So this could be you. Yes, you're guarded, you're a bit protected, but it's almost as if you are actively showing your heart chakra or actively shielding your heart chakra um, all the while still walking towards the future. So I do see a lot of you guys um, changing energy, and I want to say this could, you guys could be experiencing this already, um, like almost a shift is happening, a shift is changing with you guys where you're more clear on where you want to be, where you're going, the type of relationship you're wanting, so you're more concise. And this very well could be representing uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, meaning being very sharp or very unapologetic about what you want. Um, the only obstacle here with the Queen of Swords is being a little bit distant or being a little bit too cold. Uh, so try the best you can to open yourself up to the opportunities now what's crowning your energy taurus is the high priestess so the high priestess does speak about the all-knowing for some of you guys it could be that you've uh, continuously given opportunities to people from your past that continues to keep letting you down and with the high priestess here in your crown energy listen to your intuition and pay attention to that now i do want to mention here let me put these cards down if you can look at the Queen of Swords here in this deck and the High Priestess, they're both uh, they're both holding lavender flowers. You see that? So I feel that this is definitely talking to me about directly about love and healing. I think that a lot of you guys have been experiencing or have experienced in the past being hurt or being let down when it comes to relationships. Now, the high priestess is all knowing, right? Knowing and trusting your intuition because it's not going to lead you astray. Um, she's very assertive. She's like completely relaxed and she knows deep down inside that at the end of the day, even people that try to portray a certain characteristic or something about them, deep down she will find out. She will know who they really are. Um, and with the lavender, with the lavender flowers, it's almost as if she's happily being patient and waiting. So I think for a lot of you guys, um, uh, especially those of you guys that are very tempted to go to the past or to give the opportunity, someone back into your life that is from your past, um, what they're telling you here is don't be very quick to jump into decision makings don't be very quick to give the opportunity to give the green light like yes let's you know let's go back with each other make it official and let's work on that um because with the lavender flowers i feel that there is still healing that needs to happen not just with you taurus but with the person that hurt you or with the person that let you down it's like they still have to prove themselves to you um and you know lavender can also be a representation of uh, not being fully aware that love is in the air. So again, it could be the, the new energy that the shells were talking about. Now, what's coming towards you is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is feeling, it's almost like a very exciting energy. It's a very refreshing energy. It speaks about feeling successful or getting to a point of feeling 
like you've achieved something. Uh, and this could be in regards to finances. This could be also in regards to obviously relationships as we are talking about a love reading. Um, but for some of you guys, it could be a fire energy, fire energy that gets your attention or that comes towards you and comes towards you very quick and very hasty, very unexpected. Um, and again, I keep seeing like knights and you could see here, the six of wands is a man in a horse with armor. So for some of you guys, I am being very pulled towards, um, it could be a person that you meet through accident that gets your attention. Uh, for some of you guys in the real world, <laughs> It could signify a policeman. It could signify a person of authority, um, an army, some type of military kind kind of guy or kind of girl. Um, so just putting that out there. Now, your advice card here is the Empress card. And the Empress card is, again, believing in yourself, Taurus, and having faith in yourself, knowing that, you know what? making a decision and sticking with that because I feel that a lot of you guys often question yourself um, or you're so much in your head that you're constantly saying like this is what I want and then tomorrow you completely change your mind based on how you're feeling and with the empress it's all about tapping into your energy it's all about really believing in yourself and trusting in yourself and making decisions and sticking with them and sticking through them. So I think that that's something that is going to resonate very heavily for you guys for the month of December. Um, this could be, again, like I said, uh, in regards to making decisions where perhaps sometimes uh, we don't necessarily have to agree with our partners just because we don't want to argue. Um, sometimes they need to understand that it's okay to agree to disagree. Um, because that is part of what partnerships is. It doesn't necessarily mean that you accommodate them or that you change your person, your views, how you see certain things because you don't want to create tension. Uh, it's not about that. It's about common ground. It's about meeting each other halfway through. It's about, you know, I will overlook this if down the road you overlook this. It's about coming together and finding that balance. So remember that. Now, we were talking about believing in yourself and having confidence. You have the strength card here, and the strength card is talking about having the, um, having the strength, having the stamina, having the fortitude to be able to march on and continue moving forward, even if it's at the cost of making decisions that you don't want to make, Taurus. And the reason I say that is because I do see that when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, Tens are always challenging in the sense of some difficulty, some blessings, depending on what it is. But with the Ten of Pentacles, it could represent getting to the conclusion of of feeling some type of blockage or some type of stuckness with, with the Hermit card, but the Strength card and the Empress, believing in yourself and knowing that you're going to make the best choice, not for anyone else, but for yourself, Taurus. Now we do have here the Moon card, and the Moon card could reveal to us a lot of things that are being kept in the hidden or truths that are not completely told. Uh, this is your hopes and fears. So I feel that for a lot of you, Taurus, you may be experiencing feeling like you are extremely guarded because people have let you down in the past or feeling like you're extremely guarded because you don't trust wholeheartedly what people show you. Um, but what the, the beautiful thing about the moon card is that no matter how dark it is no matter how dark the night is the shine will the light sorry the light will always shine and the dark is of shadows meaning nothing is ever hidden if you understand this and let go of that fear in itself like people are hiding or keeping things from you and you declare to the universe you know what um 
I'm opening my my heart. I'm opening my mind to whatever it is that uh, this connection that I have with this person. Let whatever is hidden come out to the open, but declare it and understand that, like I said, there is nothing that could remain hidden at the end of the day. So when you understand that and you let go of that fear, you're no longer put, putting energy towards expecting the worst. Um, and when you're able to do that, then the worst doesn't happen. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like for some of you guys, you've been experiencing like a lot of negative self-talk. And when we do that, instead of putting energy towards, you know, clear, or better or more exciting beginnings, we're putting more energy towards the negative and therefore we will, you know, we will see the negative in that because there's so much energy going towards that. Now, you do have here the Five of Cups. Again, like I said, with the Five of Cups um, and the High Priestess, I feel that what Spirit is telling you guys is any situation or relationship where you have been left hurt or you have been left like feeling like things came out of nowhere for you or even the mask of a specific person came off and you were able to see them clearly for what they are at the end of the day you you have the keys at the end of the day the power lies in you to allow them to continue being in your life or to completely lock and close that door and no longer allow that same person to come back around and hurt you. But the decision lies on you, Taurus. And like I mentioned initially, you guys are, you know, you guys do tend to give more opportunities, more than one opportunity to people that are deserving of that. So if people have let you down in the past and they're coming back around or they're trying to reach out or they're trying to communicate with you, of course, you can always, you know, make yourself available but what the cards are telling you is that in this present time it's crucial and very important to listen to your intuition to believe in yourself and your self-worth and to not allow yourself to be mistreated to be um led astray or give hand over the knife to a person that has continuously hurt you okay I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology Oracle cards, and we've already shuffled, so I'm just going to pull this card. And what it says is, you are good enough. Full Moon in Virgo. See, this is exactly what we were talking about right now with the Strength card and the Empress card. Having faith and believing in yourself. I feel that a lot of you Taurus tend to cut yourself short when it comes to relationships. For some of you guys, it's almost the feeling of having to sacrifice yourself at the cost of yourself for family, for kids, for children. For others of you, it's almost the feeling of responsibility, like you have to waver through this uh, because you don't want to be the reason or the person or the cause for a separation. But what Spirit is telling you is you need to believe in yourself more, Taurus. You need to love yourself more. You need to give more credit to yourself. You need to understand that you deserve happiness. And if you're no longer in a relationship that keeps you happy, what is it that you're doing to change that? No one is going to come and save you, Taurus. You need to save yourself. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And I hope you guys stay tuned for January readings as we have a lot of exciting new changes that are happening for 2020 and we'll get into that uh, for the January readings. Until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.